morning, boys and girls. It's time for story time, but I think Boomer fell asleep. So let's count to five and wake him up, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Wake up, Boomer. It's time for story time. Oh, I think that woke him up. There he is. Well, let's do Boomer's wake up song so he can stretch out a little bit because he was all curled up in a ball inside that sleeping bag. Can you get your fingers going? Here we go. Open your fingers now, close them tight. Open your fingers now, close them tight. Open your fingers now, close them tight. And clap your hands with all your might. We're gonna open our arms really big, stretch out. Open your arms now, close them tight. Open your arms now, close them tight. Open your arms now, close them tight. Hug yourself with all your might. Oh, a big squeeze. Wiggle your fingers now, hold them high. Wiggle your fingers now, hold them high. Wiggle your fingers now, hold them high. Wave your hands with all your might. Get your hands up there. Open your mouth now, close it tight. Open your mouth now, close it tight. Open your mouth now, close it tight. Now smack your lips with all your might. What a funny sound. Open your fingers now, close them tight. Open your fingers now, close them tight. Open your fingers now, close them tight. Clap your hands with all your might. Ready, get set, it's story time. Well, Boomer was hungry for some pizza. So he was talking to his friend who is a chicken. That's right. And Chicken said, I was hungry for some pizza too. And we have a fun story today about having some pizza with chicken. This is called, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. Now, two friends worked together on this book. We have Mr. Philemon Sturgis. He retold the story. And Amy Walrid is the illustrator. They worked together as a team to make The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. Well, the little red hen had eaten all the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread when she sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through the cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Hmm, why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans but not one single pan was large and round and flat. Quack, 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 she said. I need a pizza pan. So she stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anyone have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store and she bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard and she saw beans and rice, sugars and spices, jars of jam and honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, 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 she said, I, I need some flour. So she stuck her head out the window. Hello. She said, who will run to the store and get me some flour? Guess what? The duck said, not I. Not I, said the cat. And guess what the dog said? Not I. Nobody was going to help her. Well, very well then. I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket and she bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. And when she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, 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 she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. So she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store to buy me some mozzarella? 
Guess what the duck said? Not I. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen and she bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickle they put. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and she stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a very big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and then she put it in her pizza pan. When she stuck her head out the window, excuse me, she said, who will help me make the toppings? You can guess what they said. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the duck. Oh, very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced, and next she opened her can of tomato sauce and she spread it all over her pizza dough. And on top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza and it looked just right. She put it in the oven and she sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon a delicious smell drifted from the oven. Mmm, it filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. That is a big pizza. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening. Who would like, would anybody like some pizza? Oh, can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? They all said yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the toppings off his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. And then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now you can guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said. Do you think they're going to say no? Or are they going to be helpful? They each said, I will, I will, I will. And they all jumped in and cleaned off the table and washed the dishes. And they all did. They all helped. I love that story. Well, Boomer decided that he was really hungry for some pizza, so he called out for a pizza. And we had one delivered today. Let's see how many pieces are in our pizza. We'll start with the one on top. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are six slices of pizza that we have. So Boomer has some money to pay for his pizza. It says down around the corner at the pizza shop, there were six slices of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with a dollar to pay. He took, he bought a slice and took it away. So now we have one, two, three, four, five slices left. Down around the corner at the pizza shop, there were five slices of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with a dollar to pay. He bought a slice and took it away. Now we have one, two, three, four left. Down around the corner at the pizza shop, there were four slices of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with a dollar to pay. He bought a slice and took it away. How many pieces are left? One, two, three. And Boomer has three, so we've got half a pizza left. 
down around the corner at the pizza shop for three slices of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with a dollar to pay. He bought a slice and took it away. Oh my goodness, Boomer, you're gonna be very full. He has two slices left. Down around the corner at the pizza shop, there were two slices of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with a dollar to pay. He bought a slice and took it away. How many slices are left? Just one. Down around the corner at the pizza shop, there was one slice of pizza with cheese on top. Along came Boomer with his last dollar to pay and he bought the slice and took it away. How many slices are left? None, zero. All the pizza's gone. I hope Boomer's willing to share. Well, thanks for coming and having story time with us today, and I will see you guys next time.